we shall reflect on the life of Saint Lazarus. Saint John's Gospel gives a full account of the raising of Lazarus from the dead by Jesus. He was the brother of Martha and Mary of Bethany and a much loved friend of our Lord. But the Bible tells us nothing of the subsequent life of this man called back from the dead. Some say that he followed Saint Peter into Syria, but according to the tradition obtaining in the East, Lazarus together with his sisters was put into a leaking boat by the Jews at Jaffa and by a supernatural interposition of providence landed safely on the island of Cyprus. He was reportedly made bishop at Larnaca where he died in peace after 30 years. In the year 890, the Emperor Leo VI built a church and monastery in his honour at Constantinople to which he transferred some of the saint's relics from Cyprus. The presence of Saint Lazarus in the West is first heard in connection with the legend of Saint Mary Magdalene in Provence. According to a letter written by Pope Benedict IX, Lazarus and his sisters were put into an oarless and rudderless boat that landed in the southeast of Gaul. He made a number of converts at Marseilles, became their bishop and was martyred under Domitian. He was buried in a cave over which the Abbey of St. Victor was subsequently built. From there, his relics are supposed to have been taken to Autun, where some human remains were enshrined in the new cathedral in 1146. There is abundant evidence that the memory of Lazarus was devotionally honoured, both in the early days at Jerusalem and later throughout the church.